Hi there, Taurus. This is Jeffrey. This is Right Color. And this is your reading for October 16th, 23rd. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. Um, I also have very beautiful things on my website. Everything is on sale. So uh, all the things on the website, I mean, aside from readings, are um, handmade by me. Totally unique. So, uh, you know the way I like to put it? You're going to love this. Um, it's like, okay, well, you can go buy like an Hermes scarf or whatever, and it's like really a lot of money. And then, get this, your husband's new wife can go buy the same thing, okay? However, if you buy a scarf from me, no one in the world is going to have it but you, okay? Um, okay, so that being said, uh, what was that? What else? Oh, yeah, please become a member. Membership uh, allows you to watch these videos uh, commercial free. And uh, my website, by the way, is redcolor.com. All the information is below. I don't know how to, I don't know how to put that into like an, an advertisement, you know, to make it not sound so sassy. I mean, I'm pretty sassy, so. All right. <laughs> Enjoy it for what it is. That's a little message. That's a little message. I mean, I'm in the middle of videos and I, I'm doing all 12 today, all 13 today. I usually try to break it up. It's easier. And um, it's like, you know, I, I didn't have internet until today. They're all due tomorrow. I mean, I could have taken the week off, but I already took the week off last week. And um, so as it's gone on, you know, you're already my one, two, three, six, seven, like my ninth sign. So it's like, just enjoy it for what it is, you know? You'll get there, you'll, you'll do whatever else you need to do or you won't do whatever else you need to do. It's like, just relax and, you know, just be there. Like, so that's my little message for you. I get the messages, it's like, what's going on with me in the moment? Wow. You know, I shuffle, but sometimes it's like the same card. So I got the chariot and he's come up a lot. And the chariot is, uh, there's a lot going on in this card. So this is the card of cancer, but it's a seven, it's confidence. And it's the, the chariot, you know, the pages have this energy of being young and of being enthusiastic and getting things, you know, beginning to start things roll, right? But, they, you know, they, they kind of don't know what they're doing because they're kind of pages and, you know, they're kind of young. And it's like they don't have experience. And he has a, like a similar energy. But the thing is that the difference in the chariot is that, you know what I'm getting today? It's like, well, he was the smartest one in the class. Not only was he the smartest one in the class, but he he did like extracurricular things that gave him experience. Uh, and like now he's like the lieutenant of the emperor, right? So now it's like this is his first time to prove himself and he's going to get it done, right? It's his first time. To, and it's like, yeah, he might hit bumps in the road because, you know, we all do. But it's like he's going to get it done because he understands things and, and he knows how to like, manipulate the chariot to avoid the potholes, you know. And there's an energy also in the chariot because he's a bit of an astronaut. I've kind of gone to a place you've never gone before, like expanding one's vision, expanding one's uh, experience. There's an excitement to it. There's an excitement to the chariot. And then I have the Wheel of Fortune, which means, you know, luck is on your side. Oh, like it's as simple as that. And whenever I get the Wheel of Fortune, I'm slouching. Whenever I get the Wheel of Fortune, you know, the, the chair is, you know, for $9, it's comfortable, but it's not exactly, <laughs> not like I can lean back and feel something soft. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is, um, I always feel like it's double when it comes up for any of the um, fixed signs. Because the fixed signs show up in the reading, in the in the card, you know, here are the four fixed signs. 
And, uh, you know, you're the bull. Here you go. Here's the lion. And then this is actually the phoenix, which symbolizes Scorpio. And then the man, uh, which symbolizes Aquarius. Um, I think because you're willing to go to a new place and you're willing to be confident and, and move forward with it, that like luck is on your side and it's almost like uh, the fixed signs and the fixed stars kind of like push you along your way, right? There's an element of destiny in this card. And then I get basically Archangel Michael. That's how I understand this card. And this is also, you see the little birds? Maybe you can see them, maybe you can't. But I always feel like there's little omens around that that'll give you clear vision because you've ended a certain way of thinking. And maybe this new way of thinking is really about hope. And it's like, I can get it done and I'm going to a new place and it's going to be good. And, you know, luck is with me. And it's almost like, uh, like the wind behind me, right? And then I have the Ace of Cups. So the wind is definitely behind you. Spirit is behind you. Your intuition is with you. You know, love, healing, messages, intuition, all there. It's all there. And this is going to transform everything completely. So if there's like a project or a, um, you know, something that you want to begin or, you know, something like in a, in a different uh, in a different vein, like, oh, I've always wanted to write a book and I think I'm going to start writing a book. It's like, yeah, we're with you. Or, uh, you know, I've never really done this. Or you know, I feel like it's something, there's something like new and exciting, a new opportunity arose or is arising. And it's like something that it's like, I don't really have any experience with this. You know, I think I could do it, but you can do it. And actually, it can change everything. The tower, everyone's got the tower. Everyone. It's like, I don't know what the hell's going on, but like almost all signs have gone the tower. It's kind of crazy. And I shuffle. Not like I don't shuffle between readings. So, you know, look. Like, I've lived through the tower more than once. You know, I'm Scorpio, so like life. <laughs> it's kind of like my MO. And um, so, you know, yeah, I, there was a fire in my apartment and I lost everything, blah, blah, blah. I'm here. Got out through the fire escape. And um, I, Mexico has called me for a long time. We ended up in Mexico. And, you know, yeah, I'm living in an unfurnished apartment, but you know what? It's paid for for a year. Well, it had to be. So it'll come together. And I'm going to figure out, you know, new ways to do and be. And um, it's really challenging and it's really exciting. And, uh, you know, without that tower moment, I, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, had the opportunity to be here and to live here and to have, you know, a, a private garden. You know, and the, it's going to take time to like, you know, fill up with all the plants I want. I want to put a jaguar. You know, maybe a stuff one. <laughs> Good idea, right? <laughs> Jaguars, I think, have the strongest bite at all the big cats. You can go through it, an alligator skull, kind of cool. Um, but out of the tower, you know, it's like, well, I'm going to have to, you know, rely on different things and a certain way of thinking. It was destined. The angels are with me. I'm being transformed and supported and starting something new. And I'm going to go in and listen to my inner light and see where it leads me toward my highest good and highest healing. And I'm really going to listen and I'm really going to be compassionate with myself. But you know what's really interesting too? I always see this. This is the King of um, Cups. The King of Cups. I always, I understand the King of Cups as the compassionate one, right? He's been through emotional turmoil, but he still offers a gift, right? And he's a tremendous listener. He's the best listener in the deck, right? And the thing about the King of Cups is like, he's always offering like this healing and this intuition and this love and this diplomacy and, and um, really hears you. But today in this reading, I feel like, 
there's an energy in the King of Cups that one needs to give to oneself of really hearing and listening. What is it that you need? Honey? What, what, how can I help you? What can I do to make you calm? What can I help you? What can I offer you to um, inspire you to move forward? You know, sometimes we have to talk to ourselves like that. Sometimes it's really important to talk to ourselves like that, not just other people around us, but to really talk to ourselves like that. And I mean, I, you know, I, all these readings that I do, it's almost like little mini readings for me. And um, it's like, you know, what can I do to make you comfortable? How can I help you? And then, you know, you ask and you receive. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of nice. I mean, I know I have the tower there, but the towers come up for everybody. So I think because the towers come up for everybody, I think there's something um, that's bigger than just the individual signs. So, because it's come up like six or eight times already, it's a lot. You know, the chariot has come up a few times. You know, some of these other cards also came up, but the, the, the tower just keeps on coming up and it's like I shuffle. You know, so like a little bit like, okay, expect the unexpected. That's the world we live in, right? Okay, something unexpected will change your way of thinking and put you on a new road that's destined, uh, full of inspiration. You're listening to your own inner light. You're being kind to yourself and transforming and new ideas, fresh new ideas and omens will guide you. There you go. Blessings. <laughs>